Okay, remember they're changing my voice. I left off the last part of the series with John chapter 8, verse 19, verse 20. He spoke these words while teaching in the temple courts near the place where the offerings were put, yet no one seized him because his time had not yet come. The next section is dispute over who Jesus is. Once more Jesus said to them, I am going away and you will look for me and you will die in your sin. Where I go, you cannot come. This made the Jews ask, will he kill himself? Is that what, why he says, where I go, you cannot come? But he continued, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you will die in your sins if you do not believe that I am he. You will indeed die in your sins. So if you do not believe that I'm Christ, why not? Because you're cheating me out of my right to lead and that's your inclination for petty things like your family, right? The flesh of people who are going to die anyway for petty stuff that, that humans have taught you to value over the principles of righteousness and justice over God himself, okay? So you die in your sins if you do not believe what there's no other explanation for that God set me apart as the top martial artist ever and that means you must obey God through me. Who are you, they asked. Just what I've been telling you from the beginning, Jesus replied. I have much to say in judgment of you, but he who sent me is trustworthy, and what I have heard from him I tell the world. They did not understand that he was telling them about his father. So Jesus said, when you have lifted up the son of the man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what the father has taught me. Now this is part of why I don't like the Bible. It's, it's shrouded in mystery and riddle. Okay, there's, all, there's more than one interpretation for that statement and unlike the way I speak plainly okay it speaks in riddles and in a roundabout manner okay to make a long story short you know after they have uh, screened Jesus out in the story then they see the evidence of his works right it, it is it is finished right he was telling them the truth from the get-go he dies in a dramatic way they think about him says oh he's right then they go to hell the one who sent me is with me he has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. Even as he spoke, many believed in him. Dis okay, the next section is dispute over whose children Jesus' opponents are. In this next section, and I'll get into this next video. In this next video, it's going to make it clear that they're the children of the devil because their inclinations, their works, their actions, their deeds give this away. People will say faith without uh, deeds is okay are stupid, because that's how you know who's of God and who isn't. How do you know who to marry, who to trust, babysitting your kids, and so on and so forth, okay? You know them by their works, by their deeds, by their motives, their inclinations. And once you have the sound judgment from walking in the Royal African Falcon Top Martial Arts Order, there's a reason why no one can beat me at sparring because I'm smarter than them, wiser than them, etc., then you know.